Hey YouTube, this is Justin, and this is a quick video. Not necessarily business related, but I use it for my business, so I thought I'd share it with you because I found it really helpful. So Photoshop recently launched the generative AI, and it's currently in beta, so it's only available in Photoshop beta. In order to access that, you'll need a Creative Cloud subscription. See, when I call up my Creative Cloud subscription, you can see that there is a section here called beta apps. Okay. Uh, so you're going to click on beta apps and with the beta apps, uh, you can see that there's a bunch of different things that have beta in them. Uh, the one that we are using is Photoshop beta. Now, the reason why this tutorial is existing is because I ran into a snag. Uh, when I first installed uh, Photoshop beta to use the generative AI, I, I ran into a problem. Uh, I was trying to use it. And unfortunately, at first it didn't work. Um, so I would lo load an image and I'll just load one here. And when I first did it, this button here, the generate button was grayed out. Now, if this happens to you, this fix will help you get over that hump. Hopefully I ended up being on call with Adobe and Adobe did a great job. Their customer service was great. They did a remote session to help me get me up and running. So what they did was this. Uh, they actually uh, end up in the remote section going into the applications. Now in the applications, uh, you'd find Photoshop beta, uh, the application file. So it's this one right here. Uh, and you would right click on that and you get info. Now getting info brings you up to this little side panel. What they clicked was open using Rosetta. Now on a completely personal level, I don't know what Rosetta is. I think if I remember right, I probably heard something about it but it's some sort of program that needs to run in the background, uh, especially after the introduction of the silicon chips from Apple. But don't quote me on that. That's what I think it is. If you know, let, let me know in the comments below. That'd be really helpful. At least I can learn something new. But otherwise, this is what they clicked. They clicked open using Rosetta, and then they had me start it all over again. Um, and once I restarted it, all of a sudden, this came up. So uh, what I would do uh, to to just illustrate it because you know, might as well kind of show you the power uh, of what this program is now you know really working on like and the generative ai is going to help photographers in a way that will help them speed up some time give them maybe some of their life back photoshop has come up with a plethora of new features but this particular case generative ai is really awesome in in a scenario like this so we're out at a park uh, in our wedding division mapbox memories uh, we were doing a portrait and I have a few foot frames that are before this where these people weren't in frame and I was shooting and shooting and I just happened to like this particular frame. Now the frame afterward wasn't that it's bad, but she's smiling and this one has this kind of like romantic feel about her face and her expression. Like everything was really great and I kind of wanted to do it. Now, generally speaking, this would take almost an hour in Photoshop to really do it all properly and get you know the shadows and stuff out of the way and the people out of the way. But the power of generative AI is phenomenal. So um, for those people who are maybe not Photoshop junkies, this section may be a little nerdy for you. But when we duplicate this layer, uh, I never like to do destructive editing. We like to do uh, editing where you can always go backwards. So I create a brand new layer, it's just a duplicate layer. And then what we do is we use generative AI. In this case, you would select the area that you want to have generated. What happened was it creates uh, a smart layer, as you can see here on the side of the layers, um, with a mask on it. And what it actually does is this. So it removed the people and it put in some awesome shadows and the colors are blended in. Like this would take a long time in Photoshop. Like it's so awesome in that it gave me different options to work with. And so, but I like this because like, it feels like it's open. Um, it has a good space about it. The lighting is, is great. Every AI will always have limitations. Not everything works really well. We tried it with a few different things that didn't quite work super good. But the future of AI is really going to be quite phenomenal. And hopefully some of those people uh, who are watching this video will embrace that. But more importantly, I just wanted to get a really quick video out there just to help those people who are really wanting to try this. I mean, it's littering, you know, YouTube, but there's got to be somebody out there who was just like me, who wasn't able to use it and it's getting frustrated because it wasn't in the forums or anywhere. So hopefully this helps you. If it does, like, leave a comment, subscribe. But that's it for me. Have a great evening. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.